In this video, I'll demonstrate the content management utilities that come with the Pro Edition of the IMI Organizer. When you first get access to any of the IMI Organizer products, your first job is to organize all the content that you already own into the correct folders. Now, since most people have hundreds or even thousands of products that they've previously downloaded, the task of getting that all properly organized can be quite daunting. However, these content management utilities cut down the time needed to do the organizing by about 80%. So it's well worth uh, the effort to use them to, to reduce your organization effort. Let me start by organizing a folder that contains just a few files and see the process all the way through. And the folder that I'm going to organize is this one. If you look at the top here, it's called IM, vari uh, IM Files Various and it's got two subfolders and there's a few files in each of those subfolders. The way I do the organizing is uh, using the IAM Index Organizer Pro map, go to the Content Management Utilities, open up that topic, and there we see the three Content Management Utilities, Analyzer Folder, Tag a Folder, Organizer Folder. By the way, as always, there is guidance uh, about each topic in the notes associated with the topic, so you can read exactly what you need to do by looking at that guidance. Uh, so I will double click the icon to run the Analyzer folder utility, and there it is. I can click Browse to select the right folder, and in fact it's already uh, selected the right one. Because uh, I've done this previously. Select Open, and I want to include subfolders, so I'll tick that box and then press Analyze. Just wait a few moments while it sets everything up, and there, in fact, it's done it already. And there is the report. It's found 11 files from three folders, that's the main folder plus the two subfolders, no errors, and it's created an Analyze Folder Report, which if I tick that box, we can get that report uh, displayed. And indeed, there it is. It's listed all the files that it's found, um, the folders in which, the folder in which it's found each file, there is a hyperlink to that folder. That's this is the, the, the original folder where it, it found the files. The type of the file, uh, the date it was modified, the size, and that's all the information that it's extracted. And the, the other columns there are for us to complete uh, as part of the organizing. Not all of them are mandatory, um, so you can describe what's in the file if you want. But the mandatory ones are these, niche, and then either A to Z topic or repositories if necessary, and the, uh, the rights that you own to the product. Each of these columns has drop downs, so you can only put in valid values into each of those. And what I will do is uh, I'll complete these uh, columns now and pause the video while I'm doing that. Okay, I've now completed the tagging. and You see I've specified what niche every file is in. Where relevant, I've specified an A to Z topic. Where relevant, I've specified a repository. And in all cases, I've specified the rights to the file. Uh, there is guidance on how to do this tagging in this tab here, the second tab along, uh, the tab after the download record. So again, there's more help and guidance directly in this file. So we've actually done the hard work now. We've done the tagging. We've we've got list of the files. We've done the tagging. I can save this and close it. and now go back to the mind map and go in to the next stage where well, the next stage would normally be tag a folder but in fact I've already done that so I, I don't need to go to 
that utility now. Let me just, in fact, close the analyze folder utility. Um, but I will go to the, the last operation, which is organize a folder, run that utility. And in fact, so now what this is doing is it's showing me all the folders that have gone through the analyze process. And there's the one I've just done, I am files various. And there's one which, in fact, I did earlier. Um, the reason I did that is just to show that, in fact, we can deal with quite large numbers of files. This one I've just done has 11 files in three folders, total size of uh, 9 megabytes. But one I did earlier has 38,000 files, 2,994 folders, and 12 megabytes. So obviously this, this utility can deal with very substantial uh, sizes of folders. So what I'm going to do is just click on the folder that I want to organize and it straight away goes into its process. It's checking that tagging has been done, it's checking for missing or invalid tags, checking for available space. By default it will copy the files from the source folder. Uh, you can then go back and delete the files explicitly yourself when you're ready. But if there isn't enough space on the hard drive, it will give you the option of moving the files so that it doesn't duplicate the amount of space by having two copies of the files. Um, it would also check for duplicate file names. For example, you may inadvertently try and organize a folder twice, or you may indeed have more than one copy of a particular product. You've bought it or downloaded it more than once, and during your organizing process, this will detect that, that it will check for duplicate file names and give you a warning and give you an option as to what to do. So now uh, it's organized uh, 11 files, OK, so it's done that. Click on a continue to have a look at the final report. And there it is. It's a slightly too tall to fit on the screen uh, for the video, but uh, we've got the main information. It's organized files within the IM files various folder and its subfolders. It's found 11 files that were originally analyzed. It's copied 11 files. There were no invalid tags. There were no duplicates. There were no files that couldn't be copied. Uh, and so everything adds up correctly. And no files were deleted from the source folders. It's in fact created three reports. You can only see two of them here. Um, the main one is the download report, which I will tick that box and we can take a look at that. There it is. Uh, it's similar to the analyzed folder report which we saw earlier, but in fact it's, it's a slightly simplified version. We've still got the name of the file. Here this hyperlink is now not to the original source folder, but the folder where the file has got stored into. So if I click on that, It shows me the folder within my IAM index folder structure, and it's showing me the search engine optimization folder, and there indeed is the going natural report. So it's confirmed that it's put it in the right place. Uh, no, I want to go back and look at the spreadsheet, don't we? So it says the folder path, the file type, modified, and size are all exactly as before and uh, there is a record of the tagging that, that we did. Uh, just to emphasize that this download report is in fact in exactly the same format as the download reports created by DAO installers. So all the information that you organize either by using these utilities or using the, the DAO installers gets recorded in exactly the same format in these download reports. So that's uh, the demonstration of the content management utilities which come as part of the IM Index Organizer Pro Edition. Thank you for your time.